So many people have a map hanging in their home of a place that they love, and it's a place they aren't right now. I think maps are very evocative of places to go or places you've been. I specialize in informational art, specifically maps, and then also illustrative infographics. Illustration is visual storytelling. Illustration is everywhere and it ranges in complexity and beauty, but it's a very useful form of art. I feel like there's a great tension between making a beautiful map and an accurate map. I want both. Uh, the types of maps I make are characterized as low information. Even though they take me forever and I put so much into them, they, they don't have nearly as much information as maybe a road map might have. The first choice I have with every map is how am I going to flatten that? Technically a map is always inaccurate because it's flat. So that's my first license that I take because you can interpret that a lot of different ways. I try to focus on the topography in my map. That's my main priority and that's often done through color. I'm much more interested in the way the land is and I think that is more timeless. I really hope that my work highlights the every day. It highlights things that you see every day but don't think of as beautiful or lovely. This corner of the world is very geographically interesting. We have uh, the second largest estuary in the U.S., which is the Puget Sound. We have got islands, we have mountains, water, so I'm definitely inspired. And because it's so complex, it's hard to see everything and go everywhere, so I feel like this is a great place to continue documenting in more depth through my maps. I'm Elizabeth Person. I'm an illustrator based in Everett, Washington. The maps I make are reminders for people. They're mementos, and they, they aren't just a map, they're a memory.